Hi folks, Tamara here from Posh Cat Crafts. Uh, I've, um, I'm going to do a video for you today, a tutorial, my first one, and it's going to be on these MDF decorative hearts. I've been making these up for some of my customers and um, for a workshop that I'm doing uh, in the near future as well. If you'd like to get your hands on um, one of these, then leave me a message down below and um, I'll get back to you with all the details. Okay, so let's get started. This is what it looks like when it's finished. The only difference is that I have not put the loop on so that you can hang it um, up. I left that off just for the purpose of this uh, video. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see on there, there's um, all the glass glitter that's sparkling in the light. It just catches the lights and uh, just uh, gives some nice sparkle to it. So this is what you'll get in the kit. You'll get the MDF heart. If I turn it over onto the back, you can see it's just M just plain MDF. And some decorative paper to put onto the back. A sentiment. In this case, this one is a friendship recipe. And some die various die cut flowers. Uh, some raffia. Um, you won't get a button. I've put some um, candy in there. Or legless brads if you live in America there's those um, a little tuli bow and a MDF butterfly that you if hopefully at home you might have you can decorate that how you like so you'll just get yours plain okay it might not even be a butterfly it could be two butterflies but smaller or it could be a bird or a heart it just depends on um i just did them randomly okay uh so let's get started right so this is how your pack will come to you uh like this okay and um so everything is in there as i said so let's open it up and see what we have and you'd also get some toothpicks so and these i find really useful if um, you haven't got any embossing tools at home you can use these to help curl your flowers and um, bits and bobs and if you're using PVA glue you can use it to pick your, your glue out so you don't have to get messy fingers so that's that so you'll get um, three of the curly uh, flowers all different sizes you'll get two miniature roses that I'll show you how to make up in a moment. Um, one big flower, okay, which comprises of three flowers all together, and as I said, some candy or some legless brads. Um, some satin ribbon to hang it up with, and your raffia, okay. Oh, this one has a bird in, and some leaves. I forgot to mention, you'll just get some leaves in there and as I say more candy there I uh, just kind of put in um, a variety of different colours that you can choose okay and you'll get some um, little tiny per um, foam dots as well to help stick your candy down okay right so let's get started I'll move this all to one side because we don't need that just yet now so I'll just get my brush. It's quite windy here today um, in my part of the UK. Um, the sun is shining, but we can see definitely see that uh, or feel that autumn is on its way. Okay, I use Mod Podge to glue my papers down. Um, but you can use any um, PVA glue that you've got. I just happen to have this one to hand. Um, I just find it works um, really well when you don't get the air bubbles in it. Okay, so, and you don't need to use a brush, you could use your fingers, it just depends on how messy you like to get. I don't like to get too messy, although I always seem to end up with a table full of crafting items and I have a little tiny space to work on so for the purposes of this video I have had a tidy up 
Right, so once it's all glued down, or glued up, okay, but I don't need that now. Right, get your paper and then just position it where you want. So I'm going to just try and get it there. Once you've got it in position, you might you have got a tiny bit of a window if you want to reposition it if it's just not right. Um, but if you just press firmly down and go in circular motions to get the paper stuck to the MDF, it doesn't take too long. But if you leave it, you'll end up with air bubbles. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the back. All right. Now, um, I use scissors, and I well, that side okay. Where and you just very, very roughly cut around your heart. And when we get to this part, I tend to go across and then carry on round. And then I'll come back to this. Now you won't get it perfect, as you can see, it's not perfectly cut off there um, because you just won't get it. So what I use is a um, a sponge sand sander. Okay, you get these in our pound shops here uh, in the UK. Um, I think there was a pack of five, and they're quite big. The how, you, how they come, if I just show you, they come in this size, like a rectangly shape size, and then I, what I do is I just cut them into strips, like so, and you get quite a few out of them. Um, quite inexpensive, but really, really handy. So then what I do is I sand. Now I don't go up and down like that because you'll end up tearing the paper and bringing the paper off of the MDF. So I tend to just go in a downward motion like so and then you can see that the paper will come off. Now. There we go. And carry on all the way round. Now the sandpaper I think is possibly a bit too new. That is how I want it. Right, there we go. I think that's how I want it. Right, I'm just going to have a bit of a tidy up. Right, so to get your holes, all I do is I use an embossing tool and you just find the hole and just gently press down and it you will get the it will go through okay there we go gently press down and then there we are there's your holes ready now for your string or your ribbon okay right so on to the flowers we're going to put that to one side let's get started so in your kit you've got two miniature roses now each rose has three full flowers one flower that has um, one petal out so it's uh, a flower of five petals and we go can we see that one five petals there and then one with three petals there we go and this one here there we are and that one is your centre, okay? Now, I start with the centre one first. And I, what I, I do is I turn them over, get my embossing tool. And then I just very carefully go from side to side. All your circular motion, whichever is easiest for you. It's just to get the flowers to curl. Now, you can use your cocktail stick and curl them round there or um, a kebab stick 
whichever you prefer or something small that's round and you can use that I just prefer to do this because then I tend to get um, the roundness that I want okay when you've got it like that if you can see let's see if I can bring you down a little bit there we are when you've got it like that there what we need to do now is we need to curl it round and for this I use a quilling tool now these ones I got very cheap off eBay and they, I think I got five they were to use they to use in my workshops um, and they were very inexpensive but I find it they're quite good so um, I think they were something like four pound for five um, which uh, they're brilliant so you stick your end of your part of your flower in to the quilling tool and then you just rotate you just turn it round on itself moving it round all the time and then hopefully you should end up with a lovely flowered center I'm off camera a little bit sorry about that so we just do that again just to show you okay right so insert your quilling tool so that it's between the, the paper and then you just rotate just turn it round now if I might actually put a little bit of glue just there just to keep it um, tight sometimes I find they do unravel okay when you've got that then what you need to do is just put a little bit more glue on the edge on the out on the edge of your flower there and then just turn it round and it should hopefully stick there we are and pull it off there's your flower your center flower anyway there we go you can see right so that's the first one right then you need your your five petals okay now I'm going to come down a little bit because I just want you to see there we go I will move back up in a minute so that you can see right again turn it round and then go in your circling motion I'm going to use the thicker end here round it's really up to you what what you sort of use okay and you'll see it starts to go into the shape turn it over pat it down and then just go round there are lots of different ways to shape your flowers this is just one of the ways I like to do mine okay the spot of glue on one of the petals and then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it behind so you're going to come round fold that petal behind until it marries up with the petal that's opposite it so what you then get is a four flower four petaled flower okay like so there we go <clears throat> okay set that one aside and then we can start with the bigger flower the, the whole petals now with this one what I do is I do like to just snip down one end one side and these flowers are lovely because they have got score marks so that you can score and um, you can cut down now, I don't think the camera's going to pick them up very well oh there we go can you see the score lines just there fantastic right okay so again do the same thing just shape your flowers around the middle and turn them over 
There we are. Now again, with this one, you're going to glue one of the petals to the other. So you need your glue on all of that petal and just fold them over and then you create a point okay you create this point at the bottom and that if you, if you like just if you with your thumb just squish it down a little bit so that you get a bit of a flat surface okay and this will help um, to make your flower stand stand up okay off camera again there we go brilliant okay so that's your other flower now the last two flowers all you have to do is to shape them so whichever your preferred method um, going round, doing circles little semi semi circles round to, f to get the fl flowers to stand up go around the middle turn it over and then pounce and then one in the middle there we go and you kind of get that flower shape as I say if anybody's interested in one of these kits um, they are the five pound I do ship all over the world just um, get in contact with me leave a message below and um, or visit my blog or um, my Facebook page uh, which is Posh Cat Crafts on Facebook or uh, poshcat.blogspot.co.uk um, for my blog ok right now we're ready we can now assemble our flowers now I start with the, the centre I work down rather than up I cut, I, in the centre of this flower you can see there's a hole now I use that as a well and I can put my PVA all round it like so and then your centre goes through the middle and push it down gently so that the the bottom protrudes out the hole like so and that flower's turned out lovely I really like the flat look of that flower right then what I do is I just trim off the bottom piece okay excuse me so you get a flat surface okay so you get the flat bottom all right sorry I keep going off camera flat bottom there right then I use my hot glue or my pin flare which I'm not sure if it's not too bad right I'm going to use hot glue now put your glue oh, always the way I'll run out of glue let's get another glue stick right I'm going to just come I'll bring you up a little bit you can see what we're doing there we go right so with your hot glue just put a little dot in the middle and this is the flower that had the point at the bottom or the five petaled one put your four petaled flower um, one with the center in that and I'm trying to arrange it so that your petals oh don't sort of they overlap they they don't um, sort of follow on so you have a line okay and that's where you'll get a more of a nice uniform flower right then take one of the other flowers that you just that you just shaped you didn't do anything to okay bit of glue and then Put your flower in. Now, there we go. And your last one. And then put that in. Okay, so you end up with a lovely flower. 
Okay, we'll put that one to one side. I'll do the other one um, a bit later and then um, you don't really want to see me do that one again. So what we'll do is we'll do these, um, I don't know if one, what you'd call these sort of flowers, um, spiky flowers I'm going to call them. This again you'll need your quilling tool. Set, um, put, insert the paper into the quilling tool at the end. Now you might need to come down to see this bit. There we go. Yeah, right. So, and then all you do is you twist. Okay? Just twist your quilling tool around. Now you can see I'm trying to keep it the bottom bit here level. Okay? It just makes it easy when you bring your quilling tool off. Okay, so turn it round. See, as you can see, I've come off there a little bit. So just, just unwind it and then you can go back. It doesn't matter too much if you don't. It just makes it easier. Um, okay, once you get to the end, like so, pull your quilling tool off. And just let it go a little bit so that it it unravels a little bit and um, with this one it doesn't seem to be working out too well let me just move you up a bit more you might be able to see a bit better um, because I need the center there we go it's got it now so you can see the center there okay there we go so what I do is I put hot glue or PVA, whichever you've got, in the centre of that, on the bottom in the centre. And then I just wrap around like so and then put the bottom bit on. There we go. I don't think it's working out very well. And then we have a flower. Okay, there's one. And then the same with if you have a rose, because some might not have roses. Um, it was just a random mix of flowers that I put in. Right, again, just twirl it round all the way, like so. Try and shape them round if you can, but this one you have to be a bit gentle with because they are prone to um, tear. Okay, let it go a little bit so that you get that natural uh, unwindingness, if that's a word. <laughs> okay, there we are. Right, put your glue in the centre. your fingers and then once I get it to this point what I do is I just put my finger on the top and between the two I just twist them in opposite directions and then that helps the flower to set in the glue and then to give you a bigger a nicer flower can you see there we are nicer sort of flower there Excellent. Right, last one here, then we go on to the other flowers. Again, just insert your quilling tool. Okay, I might just come up a bit because I'm... There we go, it might be a bit better. Sorry if I'm making you a bit seasick. Um, I've just, I'm trying a different setup with my camera and um, I'm not used to it yet. So, again, twirl it around. To pull your twilling to quilling tool out just let go so that it unwinds naturally for a little bit stick in your um, put your glue in the center now I find putting the glue there a lot better than putting it actually onto the base of the flower because I found that it wouldn't then get all the middle you know, the middle wouldn't stick and then the middle would pop out and in the middle, I mean sort of the middle of the flower here. OK. 
Okay, just open the petals out a little bit. There we go. Excellent. Um, at the at the bottom um, of uh, in the descriptions box, I will put in um, all the different dyes that I've used for the the flowers and things, um, so that if you wanted to go and buy them, you could. Right, uh, then we start on this flower. Now the spiky bit, that goes at the bottom. Then you get the um, six petaled, then you get the five petaled. Put them on the top there like that. But now but with this one, what I tend to do is I... Um, oop, excuse me. Right, with this one, I, th I go down the petal instead of going side to side or round I go down because this is long it tends to curl the flowers up can you see that there oh I've got glue everywhere right can you see that's curled okay right so you do that with all the petals all the way round If anybody lives near me in um, in uh, England um, or around the Lincolnshire area, if um, you have time, I will be at the Plough and Country Fair in Ramsey uh, at the weekend on Sunday, which will be the 27th of September. And then next weekend, which is the 3rd and the 4th, I believe... I will just double check that. I'm not sure the date. Hold on a moment. Let me just check the date next weekend. Uh, it's the third. And, yes, it was the third and fourth. Uh, the third and fourth. I will be in uh, Long Sutton Barns. Um, they're holding a, um, a craft fair and dabble day, and um, you can come along and just um, try out many different crafts that they have there. Um, and they have such a variety of crafts you wouldn't believe and um, I'm going to be demoing this uh, um, heart, decorative heart as well uh, where you can buy the heart from me there and actually you know, make it there if you like for the Dabble Day I'll also put a link to their website um, down below in the description so that um, you can go along and have a look but uh, if you do um, decide to go and uh, you've seen you've seen this video um, let me know and um, it would be nice to see you and have a chat right so I'm on the last flower now just go around go in the center this one I might use the smaller end of the embossing tool now these weren't actually embossing tools these are they're actually used for sugar craft and um, and things for your sugar paste and um, making your leaves and things like that with cake decorating um, but I actually love them they're really I actually bought them for my daughter to use with a Fimo but I kind of stole them from her right so with these flowers these flowers I do like to use the pin flare glue um, to stick it down and I don't know why I just think this you get a better finish with this one that's just but you can use hot glue pva it's really up to you i just like the bit of the dem definition where the the, it, the this flower here stands up a bit more than the flower at the bottom and then i'll put some in there then put that one on the top there we are that's all the flat that's that flower done and in the centre there, when that's dried a little bit, I will put the brat, the um, candy, or if you live in America, the legless brads. Okay. Right. Well, actually, I'll do that now, and then that's um, something out the way. Um, so in your kit, you have some little circle um, foam dots. So just pull one out. And what I tend to do, I'm going to go with pink excuse my hand right I'm going to go with pink so what I do is I put the 
the dot in there like so and then I'll just attach it to the centre of the flower and what would have maybe been a better idea was to have put this in before I glued it down that might have been a better idea but we live and learn actually that's going to need a bit of glue so I put some nope oh, won't come out we put some of this in and there we are now come across there that's will stick eventually and I must say that looks quite nice I quite like that quite nifty little thing there we go now I've got the one more flower to do which one I'll do is I'll do that off camera oh I'll tell you what I will do before I do the flowers is the leaves and all I do with the leaves is exactly the same thing is I just work up um, or down and it curls the leaves because you can't have flat leaves you have to have them a bit more shaped okay but you have to be a bit gentle with these ones because they have got um, a line in the middle okay all of those. Right, now we need to assemble. Now I start with my sentiment. I'll put that in the middle and with that um, I'm going to use foam tape. Uh, but you can just glue it down, it really doesn't matter. I just like the definition that you get with the foam tape. And uh, if you come to the workshop, the Dabble Day, um, I will provide foam tape on the day. Okay, right. So, foam tape one side, foam tape the next. Okay, peel them off. This is always good when you've got uh, nails because you can just peel them off. I don't know if anybody's like me, but you end up with the the backs of the sticky tape all over your craft room and um, has anybody um, found a way of I end up with loads of little die cut bits all over the floor and it doesn't seem to matter what I do still little bits get on the floor has anybody come up with a way of um, catching them before they end up on the floor please let me know <laughs> okay Right, just one, always one, isn't there? There we go. There, all of them done. Right, now you can place it however you want. You can have it to the side, on a slant, um, straight, over to one side. It's really up to you. It's your your preference. Uh, for this one, I think I'm going to go with it on a slant, like so. Okay. Right, make sure it's all stuck down. Right, then I next have my raffia, which is here. Now I've done mine into a little bow, but you can just use use it um, however you want. If I show you, I'll let me get some raffia quickly, and I'll show you how I make the bow so quick. 
like that. Right. Okay, let's get a long piece. Oh, I've got a piece here, that's it. Right, so you get your raffia. This might be too short, actually. Let's get this longer piece here. This is better. Right, so get your raffia. And then all you do is I kind of create a loop, like so. Then I go create another loop at the bottom, like that. Then another loop and then another loop. This raffia isn't the best. This might be better. Right, this is better. So a loop, a loop and then down and then you just tie in the middle. Okay, and then that creates the little bow but it looks like there's quite a few little bows there. Okay, well, I'm just going to snip this bit off here because it's annoying me. Okay, bring that down. Now I'm going to put that just there, I think. I'll snip those bits of raffia off later. So losing your hot glue or your PVA. Right. Just position it however you want. This is just how I like to do it. I might bring that up a bit. There we are. Don't worry about that glue because I'll hide that with the flower. Right, then you want your leaves. And how with the leaves, I attach it to the flower beforehand. So I'm going to put the light one on first, like so. And then the darker one. There we are. everywhere this hot glue okay right so that's your flowers and um, sorry your leaves put on right then you attach it put some more glue on the bottom and then attach it to the raffia like so Oop. there we are I'll just move that down a bit there we go so that's the first little part, first part of our part and it's looking quite nice as it is. Now I'm not too happy because that's covering that. So I'm going to move that round a bit. There we go, that's a bit better. You can just do this when this is um, just setting this hot glue so it's good. Now that one I'm going to cut off, I don't like that there. And then I'm going to, I might leave that one on, I think that looks quite shabby chic. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far, if you can see. There we are. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I'm quite pleased with that so far. Right, then I'll do this side. And this side I'm going to put my two miniature roses oh, sorry my two small roses I'm going to put them like that and then what I might do is I might then add the small one the small spiky one I might put the big one over here like that and then have the rose just there peeping out that looks quite oh, I'm quite pleased with that it looks really nice so that's what I'm going to do so right, so now I'm going to glue spot one of the spiky flowers down and then the miniature rose like so then our medium or small roses and our small rose the rose and then the other spiky flower Let's put that in there like that. Okay. Now this sentiment says, a friendship recipe. Take one cup of laughter, four spoons of good time, one 
tablespoon of being there mixed together with two handfuls of long chats hug tightly till warm I thought that was really sweet I mean you could use this sentiment at Christmas or anything um, and again I'll put the, the deets down below um, so that you can um, know where I've got everything from right so that's that now I think we've now just got our little um, MDF bird or heart or butterfly depending on what um, you, you get uh, I'm going to put this him or her just there like so I think or I might put him there actually I think he looks quite good there so I'm going to put him there now um, to just paint her up and I'm just using this um, Do Crafts Artiste all-purpose acrylic paint this is rose pink now I have only just found this paint um, because my daughter has started doing some crafting I didn't really want her to use my um, really expensive um, paints so I bought this and it was about £1.15 um, from a craft store online and Oh, I must admit it's brilliant for the price of it I, you can't fault it it covers really well you might have to give it two coats um, you know just to be on the safe side if you want that darker colour but it really covers I'm really pleased with it so that was sort of my bargain okay right let me just bring you down there you can see what I'm doing there we go there's the, the bird right so all I'm going to do is I'm using some cut and dry foam and I'm just going to dab it on and it does dry pretty quick there we go right I'll bring you out again there we go. right and then just go around the edges just like so. Don't have to be too precise here. And then you could maybe crackle this if you wanted to. Add some um, distressing around the edge, some like, brown. Just give it a bit of definition. Really up to you. I just wanted to give it a little bit of a colour, a little bit of colour. So let's do a little clean up. Put that over there and use that later. Right, I'm just going to give it a quick blast with the heat gun. There we go. You could even emboss it if you wanted to. Put some um, embossing powder on. Change it completely. Um, really up to you. The possibilities are endless, as they say. Right, so there's my bird. Yes, that's beautiful. I like that. Just the right shade, the shabby chic shade in there. Now I don't know if I sh could maybe put a bit of writing on there. I don't know, make it a little bit stand out a bit more. Let me just get a, a pen. A black one I think. Yeah, that should be okay. I might just give some little lines around the edge if you can see what I'm doing I'm just putting lines around just like stitch lines I'll show you what I'm doing there we go just put some stitch lines around ah oh, yes that looks really nice I quite like that now there we go you can see it right so glue this one down and then next comes the really fun part I like this part as well this is what I'm going to put on some glass glitter now at present I haven't got a way of adding the glass glitter samples to the packs so you won't get them in the in the pack um, but if you, again, if you come to the Gab Dabble Day, 
they will be um, I will add I will put them in so that you can use them okay and so that's our little bird you see him hmm. little sweetie there we go right so now for the glass glitter now for this purpose I'm going to use glossy accents but again you can use PVA works just as well but just for quickness I'm going to use the glossy accents so let me just get set up I need to get a tidy tray not very tidy. There we go, you can see I use mine quite a lot. There we go, let's see him there. Right, so what I tend now to do is I use the glossy accents and I just do a line along the, the edge of the flower bit like you would do if you had stickles which you could use stickles for this as well I just like the shimmer and the sparkle that you get with the glass glitter there we go can we see there we are. right then just dab it on the spiky flowers just little dots and on the a little rose just to give it a bit of shine around the edges there right now's the fun part okay this is where the tie you need a tidy tray or if you haven't got a tidy tray um, a piece of copy paper and then you can just fold it in half to catch it now okay right now this is German glass glitter this is so it's a little bit thicker than normal glitter um, when I say glass it um, is been tumbled so it is quite smooth I have found though the Viva um glass glitter i think that viva i think that's what it's called it's quite spiky i've um sort of had a little mishaps with those so i'm i'm not using that anymore but this one is quite smooth and um it doesn't get won't get caught in your skin okay like so then all i do is just pour it over and the glossy accents or the pearl, the PVA will catch it. If you use PVA, you will have to put quite a, a line. You don't want to just use um, just like a, a small uh, slithering of it. You will need to use quite a bit of like so that you get the depth. Okay, so just tap off the excess. And there you have it. One last thing to do is the the hanger, but we can do that now. But then that's our finished heart. Right, let me just have a bit of a tidy up. Again, any questions, you know, write them below, down below, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Anything you need to know that I haven't included, again, um, get in contact with me. I'm always happy to help. If uh, I don't know the answer to it, I will find somebody that does and, um, you know, help you as much as I can. Okay, now with this, this is where your, um, wrong one, where your little cocktail stick also comes in handy. Uh, don't use the one that you've used, otherwise you're going to get all gluey. Now, I can to come from the back and then I push it through using my cocktail stick. And what I should have maybe done is done this first before I put the glitter on. Um, but never mind, we live and learn. 
okay pull it through and then with this you will need to do at least three knots all on top of each other because the holes are a bit big and um, they just go through otherwise so you need to do th at least three on top of each other like so and then pull as tight as you can okay and just snip off and then you have your one sort of um, knot or three knots should I say and then this one I've kind of hidden which is a bit silly of me but never mind I'll get that right and just pull it through there we go and then do your three knots so that's one two make sure they go on top of each other not like that otherwise it won't work so two one more makes three I'm going to put it tight, snip off the excess and then pull it through and you're good to go. And there we are and then you have your wall hanging all finished. Ready to either hang up in your bedroom, in your kitchen, um, in your craft room even if you um, are lucky enough to have a craft room like I um, or give it as a, as a gift for a friend. Christmas is coming up and um, you know it's a handy little gift um, I use it sometimes instead of a card I've given out mine as instead of um, uh, greetings cards I've just put uh, a little some I've just put extra paper on the back with a little um, a circle for, um, for, for a place for you to write and then wrote on the back and um, give it as a little sort of gift a gift card so to speak um, you can put them in boxes um, which work they look lovely you know some tissue paper something like that an idea but as you can see as it starts to dry you get that lovely glitter shimmer from the glass glitter and it just makes it look so much nicer and when it's dry they look lovely uh, as you can see with this one I do sell these in my Etsy store if um, you're interested um, go along to my Etsy store again that's etsy.com forward slash uh, poshcat crafts uh, that's that my Facebook page come follow me on Facebook like me that again is uh, all the W's uh, dot facebook dot co dot com sorry forward slash poshcat crafts or my blog, which I've said, uh, which is poshcat.blogspot.co.uk. Okay, I'm also on Pinterest and all the other ones as well, uh, Instagram. Um, so, you know, whichever social media you're into, um, I cover all bases. So, right, it's lovely to um, see you all again. I'll be back shortly with another tutorial on something. Um, I am in the process of doing a tutorial on my decorative stick pins uh, which if you haven't seen before I'll show you um, if I can find them. So here they are. Now these are all my, little, my decorative stick pins that I've got. Um, I make these up. I also sell them in my Etsy store. Um, I find it very therapeutic. There's one there. It's um. So I'll do a, a quick tutorial on those. I might actually do that next. So uh, from me in a quite sunny but chilly uh, UK today. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye.